True or false? Check addition in each case by an example. The symmetric matrices in M uh, form a subspace. A symmetric matrix is a matrix whose transpose equals the matrix. The transpose of the matrix equals the matrix. Well, let's check. Uh, if if they uh, are closed under addition and scalar multiplication, then they would be a subspace. So let's take two symmetric matrices. We'll start with part A. Let's take two symmetric matrices, A and B, and if they're both symmetric, that means A equal A transpose and B equal B transpose. Let's check addition first. If I were to add A plus B transpose, what do I get? I get A transpose, I could distribute the transpose plus B transpose. However, uh, A transpose equals A, because A is symmetric, and B transpose equals B, because B is symmetric. So, in other words, uh, we end up, when we add matrices A and B, we get a matrix equals to the transpose of it. And uh, if that's the case, so if we prove that A plus B equal A plus B transpose, that proves that it's closed under addition. Okay, uh, let's do scalar now, scalar multiplication. So in other words, if I were to take a matrix, a symmetric matrix, A transpose, um, and I multiply it by C, and we take the transpose of this, so this is the same thing as C A transpose, right? You can see is a scalar, but A transpose equals A, so that means C A, well, if c this is a matrix that is equal to its transpose, this is the transpose of a matrix, so again I'm closed under scalar multiplication, so therefore the answer to A, so A would be true, and uh, symmetric matrices indeed form a subspace. Okay, uh, let's go to part B now, and uh, we're gonna follow a, diff a similar reasoning. The skew matrices in M form a subspace. Uh, a skew symmetric matrix is a matrix whose transpose is equal negative the original matrix. Okay, uh, so uh, let's take two skew matrices. Let's take A transpose equal minus A and another skew matrix uh, B and uh, that's equal uh, sorry uh, B equal minus B and uh, let's check again if we're closed under uh, scalar addition uh, under addition and scalar multiplication so um, why don't we add these two so uh, uh, let's find if A plus B transpose will get me a skew anti uh, skew uh, uh, symmetric matrix. Uh, so uh, if I do this, I could distribute the transpose. So A transpose plus B transpose. Uh, but A transpose is equal to minus A and B transpose is equal to minus B. So therefore, I get A plus B so if I were to add two matrices I get a matrix whose transpose if I factor out the minus is equal negative the sum of the two negative the matrix so these two are the same and they're these we have two matrices here we have a matrix A plus B whose transpose is equal negative the original and uh, so this is closed under addition okay uh, let me show um, uh, scalar multiplication if I were to take some C A I want to show that it's transpose equal uh, negative C A so this is equal C A transpose but A transpose is minus A because it's skew symmetric minus A so this gets me minus C A I can put this in bracket so what I got I got a matrix here whose transpose equal negative that matrix. So therefore, uh, therefore I'm closed under addition, uh, under scalar multiplication, and the answer is yes.
so this is a true statement uh, they form a subspace form a subspace of M and this is also the answer here was form a subspace of M okay for part C uh, it says the unsymmetric matrices meaning where a transpose does not equal a uh, do they form a subspace in other words uh, would this be closed under addition would you be able to uh, add two unsymmetric matrices and get a matrix that is symmetric if if you can uh, then uh, or vice versa if you can then uh, you're not closed under addition and therefore you can't form a subspace <clears throat> the easiest way to start with this question is to come up with the sum first to prove that to come up with a counterexample to prove that uh, you're not closed under addition so uh, uh, let's take for example <clears throat> uh, let me just uh, uh, assume that uh, this is a plus b some matrix 2773 okay a plus b now I could break this up by saying that okay well a is 1 6 uh, 0 3 now I know that this a plus b is a symmetric matrix because uh, if I if I transpose it I would get 2 7 Seven three. The first row becomes the first column. The second row becomes the second column. Notice that this cell could be anything here. It's really uh, these two that determine the symmetric matrix because this doesn't change its position. Okay. Well, if I break this up into one, so this is a symmetric matrix. If I if I break this up into one six zero three and matrix B to be the difference, uh, A from A plus B. So what would this be? One. Uh, 1, uh, 7, uh, and 0. Now, notice these are unsymmetric matrices, both of them, because if I transpose this, it's enough to show 1, uh, 1, 6, first row becomes column, 0, 3, uh, this doesn't equal A. And uh, therefore, if it doesn't equal A, that means I started with two unsymmetric matrices, and I got a sum uh, that is symmetric. Uh, so therefore, I'm not closed under addition. Uh, so uh, not closed under addition. So therefore, uh, this statement here would be false. They don't, for, uh, sorry, for, false. They don't form a subspace. A subspace simply because my result from addition is a symmetric matrix when I start with two unsymmetric matrices. Uh, that does it.